Hello there! Name's Varen, and Gandalf himself sent me to teach you the basics. Greetings. Are you the beginners in need of assistance? I am no beginner, nor do I need assistance, especially from the likes of an elf. Why, it's a loud, obnoxious dwarf. How unusual. I, my friend, am Belenthrond, an elf from Lothlorien. I have been sent by Gandalf to assist in the instruction of the novice. I was sent by Gandalf! Apparently he thought you might need some help. By Thorin's beard! What was that wizard thinking sending an elf to work with a dwarf? Perhaps you are to teach the simple tasks, while I explain the finer details. Why don't you start off, dwarf? Ah, all right, let's begin. First, you will learn how to move the game camera. You can scroll the view up, down, left or right by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. Yes, that's it. You can also adjust the game view by moving the cursor to one edge of the screen. Calm down, Elf. I was getting to that. <clears throat> like the Elf points out, moving your cursor to the edge of the screen will scroll the view in that direction. Try it now. If you have a middle mouse button or mouse wheel, you can scroll the view more quickly by holding it down and moving the mouse. Try it now. The mini-map in the lower left area of the screen gives you a strategic view of the entire battlefield. You can also move the camera to a specific location on the map instantly by left-clicking that spot on the mini-map. Look at the location indicated on the minimap. That is a Gondor swordsman who has arrived on the battlefield. Left click at the indicated location on the minimap. See how the game camera instantly moves to that location? You may also left click and drag over the minimap to quickly scroll your view. Try it now. Well, that about does it for the game camera. Let's move on to selecting your units. You select units by moving the mouse cursor over the desired unit and left-clicking. To select the Gondor Swordsman, move the mouse cursor over him and left-click. Well done! <laughs> now look at the central portion of the interface at the bottom of the screen. There you will see information about the unit you have selected. This central area of the interface is called the Selection Panel. The Selection Panel provides all sorts of information depending on what you have selected. Now you will learn how to select more than one unit at a time. Notice that more Gondor swordsmen have arrived on the battlefield. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse over the terrain to create a selection box. Create the selection box around all the units you wish to select. Release the left mouse button to select the units in the box. Good! <laughs> you may also hold down the shift key when left clicking to select multiple units. Yes, yes. Either way is fine. To unselect units, simply left-click on an empty area of terrain. Try it now! Remember, any time you wish to select or unselect your lord, units, you do Gondor. so by clicking Order the left mouse button. Gondor. Now that you have learned for how to Gondor. select units, you should learn how move to move them. With the Gondor Swordsman selected, move the cursor Orders. to an open area on the terrain and right-click. At once. Next comes my favorite part, attacking the enemy. Look at the mini-map. See those red dots? That's the enemy, a bunch of filthy goblins. Select all your Gondor swordsmen and move them to the enemy's location. Yes, that's it. You can order your units to attack a specific enemy 
by right-clicking on that enemy. Destroy all of the lowly goblins now! <laughs> well done! By default, when you give your units a move order, they will go straight to the location and ignore enemies along the way. You can have your units automatically engage enemies they encounter by issuing an attack move command. Look at your mini-map. You will notice that several more goblins have arrived in the area. Give your units an attack move command to that location by holding down the control key when you right-click to move them. See how they automatically attack the enemy when they approach them? <laughs> Splendid! Well, I must say that you are catching on very quickly. If you feel you need more instruction, please try the next tutorial. Maybe the elf will have gone by then. Oh, I don't think so. <sighs> Your enemy is vanquished.